Okay, here we go again. Uh, this is a little Dell laptop that we have. Uh, this originally came with Windows XP installed on it. And uh, I've taken it and uh, wiped it out and we've put uh, Linux Q4OS on it. And then put it under the Windows 2000 format. Uh, they have uh, different screens that you can use on this to make it look like different versions of Windows, believe it or not. And as you can see, it does look a lot like it. Um, this is the old version. Looks a lot like Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows ME. Um, it's got a very similar start menu that's on it. Um, with the programs and documents and settings and everything all listed in there, just like it does in Windows. Um, it jumps online just fine. We have the um, SeaMonkey browser on here. Um, we also have Firefox on here as well, so uh, both of these work really well on it. Um, it's not a super speedy machine, naturally, because it is an old computer, but it does work and it works well online. Um, it just takes it a little bit longer to load things is all. Uh, we'll just say OK here. You can see how quickly the websites are loading up there. There we go. And um, it does work on, on YouTube and such as that. You can get your email through it. You can uh, pick up whatever you want uh, through the website. So there's lots of neat stuff here um, that you can access. Here's our classics page. It has a bunch of old radio programs and websites and things like that on it. Um, if you wanted to read the vintage news web page, which is kind of cool, uh, that loads right up and you can see that these pages don't take that long to load. It's pretty surprising even with as old as this computer is. So um, so that's SeaMonkey anyway so you can kind of see how that works out. Let's see how it does uh, with Firefox here real quick. And this is the latest and greatest version of Firefox. So it is up to date and secure uh, online so you can do you know your financial stuff on here and everything else it is protected through the clam antivirus program that comes with Linux um, so it does have that uh, set of packages on there the only thing that's really um, a bad thing about this one is that it's missing one key and you know that's not a terrible thing but um, it could be replaced but I'd have to do the whole keyboard to do that and um, Fortunately, the keyboards are not very expensive for these, so if somebody wanted to buy it and have us replace the keyboard, we could do that. I've just chosen to sell it as it is uh, because it's just one key. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but you can see here, it's loading up okay. Let's jump over to the jump page again here and see how it looks. It's not such a bad little setup, actually. Look at that. That wasn't too bad. Loaded pretty fast. I have increased the memory in this, and... Uh, that kind of thing so that's helped it out a little bit um, let's run over here to this classic movies website this is a bunch of old black and white films um, that you can uh, watch online and um, by the way these are downloadable as well so you can do these kind of things here so here's Charlie Chaplin let's see what we got here yeah and you can see the animations are working good um, this does have ad blocker installed in it to block advertising uh, which is one of the ways that a lot of malware is slipping into people's computers these days. So um, this is a good way to block some of that kind of stuff out too. So there we go. See, it's loading up there. Um, all I have to do is just click on play there and it would start playing the video. So, But you can see that's working pretty well. So it's not a bad little computer. Um, we are asking $35 for this little guy. So... And that's just primarily because it's an older computer. Um, it seems to work okay. I've run it for several days now like this and haven't had any problems. I've cleaned out the inside to make sure that it's got uh, the ability to get fresh air in there to keep it cool. And um, it runs really well. So if you're interested in this, here it is. It's for sale. So let us know. You can check us out on uh, our website, mijgj.com. Um, call us at 424-5236. Um, or you can just drop in at the store. We're down on the corner of 7th and Pitkin. So here from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. So let us know if we can help you out with any of this. We do all kinds of computer stuff like this. We can revive your old computer with a little bit of Linux installed on it. And uh, we'll be showing more and more examples of that. We've got a whole bunch of old systems that we've done this with. So again, have a good day. And um, we'll see if we can find a buyer. Talk to you later.